Hey guys, it's Dave Salinas of the Camera Exchange. And after we've shot our roll of film, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to develop your film at home. Step one, you're gonna need a changing bag. So the changing bag will allow you to load your film in total darkness in this bag all contained. Okay, so now that we have our film, so to speak, loaded in our tank, first things first, we're gonna use our developer. I personally like HC 110. It's a higher contrast developer, gives your photos extra pop. Step two, this is the stop bath. Basically what this chemical does is it neutralizes the developer. It basically stops it, it the developing process inside the tank. Step three is your fixer. Now the fixer basically brings everything together all the processes and it makes it to where the film can be viewed in natural light. So basically it kind of cements everything and fixes it essentially. Okay, now the last step or one of the last steps rather is going to be your hypo clearing agent. This is basically uh, a, a powdered mix that you dilute down and you add it to your tank and it basically cuts down the wash time. So it's really good for the environment so you're not just blowing like gallons and gallons down the, down the drain. So it cuts your wash time in half and it's really awesome. The last step is the photo flow. This basically is a, a rinse that you do to get rid of the hard water stains that could be left on your, uh, on your film as it dries. Like the mineral deposits that are, that are like in the hard water. So this is sort of like a rain X for your film. Okay guys, and there you have it. These are all the materials that you would need to develop your own 35 millimeter black and white film at your house. Stay tuned next week when we do the same thing with color chemistry and color film. Thanks, we'll see you next time.